Dear Janet, thank you for your email. The reason I was late this morning is because I had to meet with my friends for a gluten-free breakfast after my CrossFit class. This is a part of my personal wellbeing program as prescribed by my life coach and it cannot be altered as it may cause significant distress. While I've got you, I also have a few grievances that I would like to raise. 1. Being challenged by my superiors about being late is a triggering point for me. I cannot complete my work tasks with the stress and anxiety of knowing my boss is angry at me and I'm finding it is now interrupting my personal life, as this isn't the first time you've asked why I was late. I have accessed the Employment Assistance Program and I'm seeing another counsellor for this, but I figured if I just asked you to stop asking me, it might reduce my anxiety symptoms. Number 2. John stinks. I cannot work in the same pot as him. His hygiene is awful. Like on Tuesday, I saw him pick his nose and he didn't even like flick it straight away. I watched him sit there and roll it between his thumb and his index finger, rolling it into a ball. Then he stuck it under his desk. He is also a chauvinist, and as a feminist, I find his dialogue at times completely inappropriate, sexist and belligerent. This is problematic, so I'd like to be moved into another pod, preferably one that is entirely vacant so that I can have space to practice my yoga during my lunch and tea breaks, as is outlined in my mental health care plan. My third point is, I'm concerned that our vending machine only offers unhealthy junk food snacks. I don't use the vending machine, that's gross, but I see a lot of people in the office who do and they look very unhealthy. I feel that they would lead more fulfilling lives if they were to eat a similar diet to me, which includes entirely organic produce and vegan only. I've told them this on numerous occasions, but they all just look at me and then just look at each other as if to imply I'm the one with the problem, which is obviously completely ridiculous. My fourth concern is that recently you held a brief ad hoc meeting before we commenced the official meeting, and while you did the acknowledgement to country in the official meeting, you didn't do one for the ad hoc meeting. This is blatant discrimination that perpetuates a bigoted and colonialist workforce that is entrenched in systemic racism. Number five, paper wastage. I'm disgusted by the amount of paper that we print in this office. I recently interrogated our admin officer about a pile of printing she was doing and she said that you had asked her to do it. I feel like half of the Amazon was being printed in that. I cannot believe you would not only allow but order such a devastating waste of our natural resources. As a dedicated member of Extinction Rebellion, I have to protest about this excessive waste. Ironically, when I asked the admin officer about the printing, she had the audacity to ask me about the 200 flyers I printed last week to advertise our next climate change march. Can you believe that? The hypocrisy is incredible. She argued that I was not only using those exact resources for my own personal agenda, but she also claimed I was using the company's resources for personal use. This is outrageous. How she cannot see that a few bits of paper printed to save the planet is significantly more important than completing work tasks is beyond me. So Janet, you can see that while you have an issue with me being late to work, I can see significant flaws in the entire team that I have just exposed as a systemic, toxic, climate change denying, patriarchal and racist culture that in no way aligns with my worldview or the inherent truths that I learnt in my sociology degree at university. I'm happy to sit down and discuss this with you in the near future. If you could find a free space in my Outlook calendar and book me in, that would be great. Thanks Janet.